robotics program here is basically to get kids, kids excited about science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Um, hopefully they go on to do great things and solve the world's problems, maybe an energy problem or a, you know, a, a drinking water problem. We're about inspiring um, teenage students to get into the field of engineering, technology, and science. Um, if the name of the program is actually FIRST, for inspiration and recognition of science and technology, and that is the goal of FIRST to promote these students to get into these fields. Some of the things that I do specifically with the students is um, I'm sort of in a <clears throat> leadership role here, so I make sure, for instance, that um, the students are staying on task with the, pro with the robot projects. Um, try to create little schedules, we try to have fun, we try to make a competition out of things like, um, you know, who can do the wiring on the robot the best or, you know, um, the, like a friendly competition of, you know, who, who draws the best logo, things like that. What we have over here is the breakaway bot from last year. It, 2012's game involved a, uh, a sort of a basketball sort of game where the robots would come together and they would shoot balls into the basketball hoops and for the end of the game they would have to go on a bridge per se and they would have to take multiple robots and balance on that one bridge. Now as easy as it sounds it's not easy to send a robot out into the field and make a ball go several 30 feet into a hoop. Um, it took a lot of cooperation, a lot of designing and uh, a lot of frustration to get where we were but we are here. The, the competition is new every year. In January we get what's called the new challenge. Uh, we have six weeks to build a robot, uh, everybody works under the same parameters, they get a kit of parts, and you go at it. And then on a certain day, everybody puts their tools down, and you get a break. Then you go to competition. I, I attend almost all of the competitions with the team. One of the things that happens during the competitions is we actually play three versus three. So it's not just how good your robot is, it's how good your opponent's robots are, and how good the robots that you're playing with. So there's a lot of... Um, strategy involved with it as well as it's a lot of fun to get to work with all the other teams. We're preparing the PWM cable for the uh, for the robot. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation which means that it determines how much energy is given to the robot and it does that by giving short bursts of energy at specific times. The faster it does it the more energy goes through, the slower the less and in theory you end up determining how much electricity goes to the um, to the conveyor and so that's how that's how you're able to get the balls to move forward and make goals. I like how we get to work with our friends on, on stuff like this. I like the experience that it's giving me for the career that I want which is I want to become a mechanical engineer so it's giving me a lot of uh, understanding of how everything works and you know Hopefully it'll be good on my resumes and all that. Fundraising is very important to the program because quite frankly it, it costs a lot of money uh, to run it. We do a plethora of things. We, uh, The city I live in, we deliver a, a newsletter six times a year. We get uh, a donation from Qantas Club for that. We're currently selling LED light bulbs. In addition to the LED light bulbs, we're selling little robotic creatures called hex bugs. The money that we do raise through fundraising uh, is used to uh, fund the cost of the robot uh, for travel, uh, and for t-shirts and marketing expenses. If somebody's interested in robotics uh, in Broward County, they can contact me and uh, we'll be happy to you know, point them in the right direction. Um, we're more than willing to take on additional members if anybody's truly excited and, and wants to come in and check it out. Um, please give us a call and uh, we'd like to work with you.